So let's talk yes. about fruit. And that fruit is watermelon. And we hear about 30% of watermelon produced in the country go waste due to poor ways of preserving. After harvest. Watermelon is an excellent source of vitamin A for good vision, vitamin C, to fight skin infections, and potassium, which helps in controlling heart rate and blood pressure. At the Malamata market in Accra, Newtown, the fruit can be seen everywhere. However, most of the fruits begin to rot after a few days of harvesting. Traders explain they have no means of preserving the fruits. This one cannot last more for more than two weeks. It will get rotten. We give it to those who rear the cows. They'll come for it and we'll give it to the cows for free. They don't buy. There is nothing you can do when it gets rotting except to give them out as animal feed. Previously, we even used to pay for garbage. While retailers do not have means of preserving them, farmers still produce them in large quantities because they have a ready market in the urban areas. Training for farmers is something that occurs on a, on a daily basis. Uh, we have extension staff who are in the field. There are also periodic uh, trainings that are organized uh, to, for farmers to acquire skills. Though the fruit seems to appeal to many people, it is not reflected in the patronage at retail points of sale. The acting director for women in agriculture attributes this to high cost of the fruit. To be carted all the way from far off production points to Accra, everybody is thinking getting your fruits to the urban centers will fetch you the highest. But when you look at the price, at the consuming points, and compared to where these were produced, it's very high. And because of that, consumers are not ac uh, do not have access to these uh, fruits. Fruit processing companies are the only alternative to preventing the watermelon fruit from going waste. The Deputy Minister for Food and Agriculture explains there are incentives to support these processing companies. All the machinery and plants that are imported uh, for purposes of uh, processing are brought into the country tax-free. Uh, they don't pay anything. Uh, but processing companies do not seem to show much interest in the watermelon fruit as done to fruits like mangoes and pineapple. Individual domestic preservation methods is another option to consider. But until retail prices are regulated to go down, the watermelon fruit may continue to go waste during its season. Or perhaps a slice of the fruit can be served to every child on the school feeding program to increase its demand for sales while balancing their diets as well.